Okay, Sunday morning in the kingdom, and it's sunny and cold. Yes, it's a nicer day today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was unreal. It was supposed to be nice and warm or whatever, but that wind, it was from Wyoming, but in Saskatchewan if you're from Canada. So this morning we woke up to minus 25, but it's actually gotten colder. According to the weather station in the kingdom, it's minus 28 Celsius. Okay, but it feels like minus 34, which is good. So we can plow some snow today. And then on the yo-yo scale, minus 13 Fahrenheit. But feels like minus 29. That's excellent. All right, so we all know it's Sunday. Yes, so clean your vacuum. I'll set it down. Don't look at the cleavage. All right, I'm back. All right. So today we're going to go plowing because yesterday we couldn't plow because it was too windy. Yes, some excuse the boss wasn't too happy. And then you can see over here. Oh, I better put the me phone back in. I can do it. Yes. Look at that. The staff was dry land beachcombing yesterday, grabbing that tree and towing it behind. Yes, beachcombing. We all grew up to that show with Relic and his jet boat and Nick and Jesse and the Per 70. That was good filming back in the day, but you have to remember that Per 70 had a Detroit screaming Jimmy in it. Yes, it screamed for mercy. And they filmed it with them driving the boat from the outside, standing beside the exhaust pipe. Can you imagine at the end of the day of filming, their little brains must have been just rattling around or they couldn't hear anything. But that was good filming by the CBC back in the day because they didn't have the technology to dub or override their Photoshop. So it was raw film footage of that screaming little Detroit motor in the boat. I don't know what size it was. It was probably a four something, 453 or something. Yes, or four stuff. Oh, I'm all confused. I didn't watch Sesame Street today. All right, so let's back up here. Look at the sun coming up. So we're hoping for good filming in the wilderness, Alaska today, but in northern Manitoba. Yes, look at that. All right. And then over here, we started the wood stove for the Swedish kid. Look at that. Oh, the things I do for her. Oh, hopefully she appreciates all this work I do. And mentioning her name numerous times, she should give me 10 bucks each time I say her name. Yeah, then I'd be rich. Oh, yes. All right, well, we better get back to work here. We got lots to do. Make sure the cat starts and runs and get everything ready for filming this afternoon. Oh, here comes the boss. Sunday morning in Whoville, it's just after 9 a.m. and it is cold out there this morning. I have my wood stove on already. I got up this morning at about 6 a.m. not feeling the greatest, but now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make breakfast, and see what's going on this afternoon. Almost 1 o'clock and I'm just getting the skidoo out and heading on over to the kingdom. I'm not sure we're doing this afternoon, but I'm pretty sure we're taking the Bismarck out with the bee plow and doing a couple passes on the north trail, but I guess I'll find out when I get over there. Gonna do a quick service on the Bismarck, check the final drives on it and a few other things. That way when we get into the bush, hopefully we don't run into any problems. The drag we want is a little chain drag that I cleaned up yesterday. We'll put that behind Bismarck and take it through the bush. There's not much snow here right now, so going out with the big bee plow should be fun. It's been so cold, my dad was able to split a couple of these telephone poles. As you can see, they're supposed to look like this, and he was able to split them down no problem. That's how cold it's been lately. If it was warm, he wouldn't have been able to do that. I'm just waiting for him to do a quick service on the Bismarck, and then we'll be on our way.
Now we'll hook Bismarck up to the chain drag here and go down the north trail past the rabbit tower and the muskeg and see if we can open all that up. Now I'm up on top of the rabbit tower waiting for my dad to bring Bismarck and the drag down so we can go over to the muskeg. Sure is nice having all this plowed out for me so I can back right up into the tower.
just want to give you guys a little video and show you how soft it is. This is the freshly dragged plowed out trail that we just did and as you can see from my feet I'm just sinking into it it's really hard to walk on but if you come over here onto the hard pack stuff that we've been dragging for the last few days my feet do not sink in it is nice to walk on it's very hard so in a couple days when this stuff freezes up it'll be nice to walk on and we'll be able to drive the green toy and a bunch of our other stuff down here for some fun decided to get a better view the ramp is right there into the kingdom but i walked over here to the back gate i'm just gonna step out into the snow a bit and then i can get my dad coming in from the back gate this way and into the kingdom took a few steps off the pack trail and as you can see it's pretty deep i'm about up to my knees here in some spots i'm gonna pack down a nice little area for me but as you can see it is all sugar I think it's shined enough. Are you sure? It's nice clean and clean. Enough? I think you can see it's through it now. Warm. It was all melting. Must be nice. That was cold. Well, too bad. So sad. Well, that's good. That's a good thing we put these on to keep all the warmth in. Yeah. A couple more payments and we can afford a windshield. Try not to slip this time. What? I said try not to slip this time. Yeah. I didn't get it on. It I didn't get it on video yesterday. 2.30 and we are officially done with Bismarck. My dad just shut it off and he did a little video on how warm it was in the cab here. You can see all the snow at his feet there on the floorboards got all melted and even started melting down around the engine as well. Even the top of the hood's been melted so that means the cat was working today. Now it's time to head down to the shop and see what else we're doing. Almost 3 o'clock and I'm officially done in the kingdom. Now it's time to head on back into Whoville, put the screw away, and I'm gonna wait a little bit, probably till around 5 or so, and do the weather. 5 o'clock, and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 20 degrees Celsius, which is negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been pretty warm out there today, other than the wind, but at least the wind wasn't as bad as it was yesterday. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make supper, and end my day. Okay, that was a little fun using the Bismarck to open up the North Trails. And you notice uh, the, when the motor warmed up, it ran a lot better because it was working hard. Yes, and I was nice and warm in the seat. So we have the famous black cat plugged in on the timer right there. The little black box over here. Yes, the black box. Yes. So tomorrow we'll go out and dress up the trails because there's supposed to be snow coming when it does warm up.
Okay, after riding a Bismarck cat, plowing the snow, the sugar snow, I came in the shop here and had a couple of beers while I fixed the last of the canvas canopies. Yes, so I'll have to let this dry overnight, and that's why you save everything in, in the coffee cans or whatever, coffee tubs, because they make excellent weight. Okay, we're quitting early today. The sun's still up. Not like last night. We worked late on those canvases, but we worked out good. All right, let's scroll this way. Look at those skies. Yes, I think it warmed up quite a bit today, but the wood stove wouldn't burn because we're in a low pressure system and to boil the water to make the coffee was next to impossible. Had to wait forever. Unreal. Okay, let's go see what the flags are doing and they're in a natural state of being limp. Let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video, and we'll talk to you later.